welcome back to Barca Honda's Friday Night Sports. We're going to go back to the Thibodeau Jamboree, not the Thibodeau Parish Jamboree. Sorry, it's late on Friday night. The Thibodeau High School Jamboree, where in the second game, it was a rival game. Two teams from Thibodeau, E.D. White and Thibodeau High School. So let's get out to Tiger Stadium on the campus of Thibodeau High. As you can see, darkness is there and that's how most of the second game started i saw thibodeau in a jam uh, excuse me in a scrimmage last week they looked very good in large part because of this young man number four dante johnson the yeah. keeper short game but i got to tell you folks uh there are not many short games in his repertoire he usually breaks them out and that's what he does right here as he gets it inside the 10 yard line for thibodeau high school here we go them still with the ball and he fools everybody and he can throw the ball also unfortunately he got very very lucky or fortunately i should say jason he got richard. extremely lucky jason richard a guy who actually was an all-state honorable mention selection along with dante johnson who was an all-state selection that might come to hurt them thibodeau's kicking game a little suspect six to nothing early in this one here we go connor chasson at the quarterback position for ed white he uh Pitches it out to Thomas Legendre, who gets a few yards there. They're gonna count on those guys a lot. Here is Chasson again, as he throws it out to uh, Charles, Darius Charles, excuse me. He's a guy who came up big for E.D. White last year. He's gonna have to do that again this year for those guys to have some success. Here we go. Chasson back to pass, left-handed throws it up, unfortunately. Uh, that was well on the throne. Coming up with the interception is uh, Brennan Este for Thibodeau. And he returns it for a bit of yardage, but nonetheless, Thibodeau takes over the ball. And that's pretty much the kind of night it was for E.D. White and the kind of night it was for Thibodeau as that defense was smothering. Chasson gives it to Legendre, who is uh, stopped for no gain. Again, Chasson at the quarterback position. He throws it out here to number 12, Josh Chasson. Chasson, a nice catch, because he really gets blasted after catching it. Just not enough for E.D. White tonight and way too much Thibodeau High School. Thibodeau has this capability too, folks. As uh, Again, we were early in this game, 26 to nothing in the Jamboree. They defeat E.D. White. You didn't see much of this game. No, I was at the HL uh, Terrebonne game. Well, but, uh, they pretty loaded. Uh, uh, the Johnson kids probably the top five in the state. Then they have two other kids, uh, Joseph Chenier and the other kid. I, his nickname is Boot Camp, you know. <laughs> and they got the Richard kid on the outside. And they also, they got Coach uh, Melvin back from East Ascension. He's back on the defense. So, uh, you know, Thibodeau's always scary because they have one thing that you can't coach, they have athletes. You know, you just gotta put them in the right place. Well, they uh, obviously look well today. They looked well last Friday in their scrimmage against South Terrebonne. And uh, they have a tough schedule now. It, it doesn't get easier. Uh, they, you know, those guys are gonna be playing Shaw along the way and uh, uh, it's not gonna get easier. E.D. White is probably thinking, wow, you know, we just finished this one. Now we got Vanderbilt in a big game. Again, if you have not heard, it was supposed to be on the turf over at E.D. White, but that turf's not ready to go, so that game has been moved to Homa. So it'll be E.D. White against Vanderbilt at Buddy Marcella Stadium next week. And if I'm not mistaken, the following year, it's gonna be E.D. White's home game, so they'll play it on the turf there. Uh, unfortunately, that turf not in. First school in our area to get the turf. And I yeah. gotta tell you, after looking at Tom B. Smith today, <laughs> there are two things that are glaring. The field, since so many schools play on it, probably yeah. does need to be looked at at being turfed eventually. I think you would save money in the long run. And the other thing is the lights. They're, uh, they're yeah. suspect. I was in the dome last year when for the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. The lights went out. I could see better there than I could see at Tommy wow. Smith with the lights out at the Superdome last year for the Super Bowl when the lights went out. Yeah, I was so. looking forward to that turf also because uh, we play E.D. White on the 10th of September, but I don't think they're going to let the 8th graders play before they <laughs> let the high school. No, I don't think the high school is going to get on it first. Or I'd be very surprised along the way. We are going to come back and look at the South Lafouche Jamboree where uh, a couple of lopsided scores there too. You want to stick around for that. We'll be back after this.